Hey guys, Matt here with Acoustic Selection. I want to ask you a question today. How do you view yourself? I think I was talking to my wife the other day. This is one of the most important questions you can ever ask to have a life of influence, to have a life of purpose, of understanding the big picture. It's just how do you view yourself? Because so many things I have found in my own life with personal ministry start with this question. If you realize that you are a sinner saved by grace, that you realize that you need encouragement, that when you realize that you need forgiveness, then it makes you understand fully that there are others out there doing the exact same thing and feeling the exact same way you are. So, so it starts with that question, how do you view yourself? The Bible says while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. It is much easier for me to go out in this world and forgive when I know just how much I've been forgiven. It's much easier for me to go out in this world and love others when I know how much Christ has loved me. It's much easier for me to see others and not have a, have a need in this sense to want to judge them when I'm in hope that God doesn't judge me. I don't like when other people judge me. I don't like when others... Uh, accuse me of false motives or, or whatever, so I don't want to do that to others. So, so many things come back to how do you view yourself? That's the question I want you to ask yourself today. How do you say, how do I view myself? And really let that sink in because to me, that is the base and the start to do something big for God. Matthew 5 calls us to be the light of the world, the salt of the earth, the city on the hill. It's basically saying we have to be different. If we're going to live a life of influence, a life that brings the joy of Jesus Christ to others, we have to be different. And I think, in my experience, that starts with just viewing ourselves like we're meant to view ourselves. When we see the need we have for grace, the need we have for understanding, and um, the need we, we have for encouragement, it, it makes us realize the, the same need others have. Because we're all, no matter what, what background you have or where you're from, what you're going through, we have the same basic needs and the same basic fears, the same basic desires. And so when we understand our own and get a full grasp of that, it makes it very easy to move that next level and help to others. I say all the time with my music channel and everything, I try to be a channel of God's blessings, not a reservoir. I don't want God to just bless me and me to sit here and, and hold his blessings. I want God to work through me and I want my circle of influence to get greater and greater and greater. Not for a number of likes on YouTube or a number, this, this always looking for affirmation, but going from affirmation, because Christ loved me, I want to love others. Because I have this great joy, this unspeakable, unexplainable joy in my heart, I want to share it with others. And so my challenge for you today is just take time and say, how do I view myself? Do I realize I'm a sinner saved by grace? That I'm loved, no greater love hath any man? Christ couldn't love me any more, any less. He's all-knowing, all-perfect. And shows me all the grace I'll ever need and all the love I'll ever need. So when I view myself that way, I'm ready to, I'm free to go out and live in this world a life of influence that truly is the light of the world. Let our light so shine before men that other people around us see our good works and glorify our Heavenly Father. Hope this helps you guys. Have a great day. Subscribe if you haven't. Shoot me a message with any questions. I'll get back with you ASAP. God bless you.